this demo, we're going to create a class library project and add a single class to it named person. Uh, and then we'll add a properties to the person class. So let's get started. In Visual Studio 2013, we're going to create a new project. Under Visual C Sharp here, we'll choose the CLAT and we'll name our project Business Rules. We'll put it in the through backslash simple class folder and we'll call the solution customer orders. That creates a class library project with a single class called class one. So we'll just right click on that and rename it to person. That's the code window. And now we can open to add a property. So in the class diagram, we'll right click on the person class and choose add property. And we'll add a new property called first name. Now since the property that we add in the class diagram will not actually add implementation code, we'll also right click and add a private field called underscore first name that we can later use to persist the property value. We'll do the same for last name. private field for last name and then we'll come down into the class details pane and we'll update the data type for both our private fields and properties to string save our changes and now if we go take a look at our class, you can see that we have our oops, two private fields, first name and last name, as well as our property procedures for first name and last name that throw a not implemented exception uh, that we can use later on for test driven development. Let's add a couple of more properties here. We'll add the city and state properties by using the prop full code snippet. Press tab twice, and then we'll change the data type to string. Tab over, add the private field city, and tab to add the city property name. We'll do the same down below for state. Score state capital state and then we'll use the prop code snippet to add a an abbreviated version of a property that doesn't give us a private field that we can access in our code we'll use zip code Now we would have to go here and manually implement our first name and last name properties by adding a get statement that returns the underscore first name parameter and a set statement that sets the first name private field equal to the value passed into this property little bit of extra work there so I actually prefer the prop full method 